makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Ash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is giving daily enjoyment to millions of people all over America, in offices and factories, on farms and ranches, in mines and oil fields. Folks find that chewing Wrigley's Spearmint helps them feel better and work better. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad that their product is proving helpful and enjoyable to so many people, and they're glad, too, that they're able to bring you Life with Luigi, because they know it's the kind of a radio program that millions of Americans enjoy. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, <laughs> in America, weatherman is a very important fella. Yeah, he's got a little box in a newspaper, and every day he's to tell you what's going to be the weather tomorrow. For instance, yesterday, weatherman is to say, Tuesday, Cooler with the heavy rains. So as the coming today was a hot and a dry. <laughs> <laughs> but he was right in the one thing that today would be Tuesday. <laughs> oh, would it be nice, Mamma Mia, if I could have closed up the antique shop and go in the country to cool off for a couple of days. But a train of tickets that cost $50, there are plenty of tickets, maybe $100, a hotel bill, maybe $200. With the money I'm a got, all I'm a can afford is a cold shower. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a read some places that, that if you eat the salt the tablets, they're going to keep you cool. So all day I'm a chew them up. And my money I'm a got so much salt in the side, I'm a feel like a bag of peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my mommy, it would be so nice if I, I'm a could go away for vacation. Because summer in Chicago is a very hot Everybody's a go away. Streets, they get empty on the weekends. And if you ain't got a friends, you could get very lonesome. But today I'm, here yeah, I'm got a big idea. I'm gonna ask all of my night school friends that they should have come to my store this Saturday. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. We can drink lemonade, eat the cookies, sit around and do what all Americans is a do. Chew up the rags. <laughs> But I'm going to finish this a little later, Mama Mia, because right now I'm going to go to my night to school. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From the ocean to us. Luigi, thanks for the invitation, but I'm sorry I can't make it for this Saturday. Oh, you can't. Uh, now, you see, I'm going to my wife's folks for dinner. Well, uh, I hope you enjoy her, Richie. I hope so, too. You know, there's one thing about my mother-in-law. She makes a patros that you'll remember for years. Uh, yeah, and it stays with you that long, too. Why, <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, you too, Holloway. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure, 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 maybe you come to my store this Saturday, huh? Ach, I'm sorry, Luigi. The 4th of July weekend, my wife Frida and me and the kiddies, we always have the same vacation. So what do you mean, Schuss? Well, we all go down to the beach and the food gets squashed on the train. Two kids almost get lost. I have to be pulled out of the water twice. My wife gets a lunch stroke and we all have a wonderful time. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, but also, uh, maybe you, you're gonna... Uh, Luigi, uh, uh, I would be overjoyed to join you this Saturday, but uh, uh, I told Olga I would drive her into the country. I uh, did, huh? Yeah, oh, oh, there's been nothing like getting out on the highway in an open car on a hot day and, and just zooming along. Hey, it must be nice to zoom. <laughs> so everybody's got something to do this weekend, huh? Shh, here comes Miss Foley. Good evening, class. Good evening, Miss Baldwin. Good evening. Phew, it's hot tonight. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, will you open the window from the bottom, please? Why only from the bottom? 
What's the matter? The top is an orphan? <laughs> sure, there was a well-known fact in physics that cold air comes in from the bottom and the hot air rises to the top. Ocean, if that is true, what is holding you down? <laughs> that was a lullaby <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Mm. I know it's a hot night, but let's see if we can't concentrate on today's grammar lesson. I asked you to study up on the dangling participle. Mr. Horowitz, suppose you tell us what it is. With pleasure. A dangling participle is a participle that, uh, well, it dangles. <laughs> well, uh, give us an example, please. Certainly. The dangling participle, uh -huh. the prisoner was hung at dawn. No, no, that's wrong uh, Mr. Schultz Don't ask me, I don't believe in capital punishment <laughs> Miss Spalding, as usual, I am the only one who knows the answer yeah, But in olden case, I'm willing to make an exception <laughs> Please, Mr. Schultz Mr. Basco, you may tell us the answer uh, the, the dangling of participle, huh? Well, that's the one is some word in a sentence is you know belong. And why doesn't it belong? Because well well it's just you know belong like like a me and this a weekend. What? Oh, Miss Balding, uh, Luigi feels a little left out because he, he asked us all to come to his house Saturday, but uh, we can't make it. Oh, well, these are the weekends when people start to go out of town, Mr. Basco. Ah, cheer up, you little Wiener Schnitzel. Uh, smile, Luigi. There's, there's a million things you can do in the city to enjoy yourself. Like what, the church? Well, you can go to the museum or the library or the planetarium or... Maybe a good music recital or uh, an art gallery. Oh, yeah, those are all excellent ideas. Olsen, they should all happen to you. <laughs> Ach, my Luigi, come the weekend. You can always go next door to Pasquale and pass a little time. Yes, yeah, sure, so, but what if the Pasquale is going to start to, to, to nag me with, uh, with the Rosa? Ah, so what? He says, do you like Rosa? You say yes. He says, will you take her out to a movie? Say yes! Yeah, and, and what if he's going to say, I'm going sure to marry her? So marry her, it's only for the weekend! <laughs> Luigi, my friend! <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Oh, hello, Pasquale. I thought I'm just going to drop in a spaghetti palace and uh, help you out a little bit. That's a nice little banana nose. <laughs> but then why you suddenly decide you're going to be Papa's a little helper? I don't know, Pasquale. I'm, I'm, well, I'm just like it to help you, that's all. Hmm. All right. How much money you need? How soon can you pay me back? <laughs> no, no, Pasquale. I, I'm not going to need no money. And you went to the trouble with nobody? Bill collectors and people like that? No. Hmm. Luigi, I don't like you. Should have suddenly acted nicer to me unless you got a good reason. Well, Pasquale, I'm, I'm, I'm just to feel big appreciation for what you do to that, Charlie. Appreciation for what? Well, for, for bringing me to America. You know, for, for everything. Oh, my show. I understand a little cabbage pussy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since you feel in such a big appreciation mood, Luigi, uh, How's about you and me, we discuss a certain subject? Pasquale, <laughs> it's a certain subject. How the name begins with the R? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Russia? I don't mean the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> if it's a Russia, it's a bigger than the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> I'm not asking you. All right, Pasquale, but then, then what do we should talk about, Russia? Oh, little things. Little things? Yes, yeah, little things. The kind that if there was a four or five of them running around the house, I would be a grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, my son? Ah, uh, goodbye, Grandpa. <laughs> no, 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 Pasquale, please. Now, now is it not time to talk about a marriage? It's the best time. If you get married now, that's going to make you a junior bride. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, look, Connor, may have a pity. I'm only living for the day when some little fella is going to climb up under my knee and call me Grandpa. Well, uh, well, all right, Pasquale. If it's going to make you happy. Yes. All right, Pasquale. 
I'm not going to climb up on your knee and call your grandpa. <laughs> oh, don't be so smart. Ooh, if I could afford it now, I'd have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> no, but first, Gary, please, please, don't be mad with me today. Huh? Not the today. Why not the today? You got a birthday or something? No, but Pasquale, all of my friends, they're going away this weekend. And, and I went to wish you to be friendly, so... So I'm going to have somebody to talk to. Mm-hmm. Hey, Luigi, you ain't had a vacation since I brought you to America, eh? No, no, Pasquale. And you ain't got money, but I got the right. That's right, Pasquale. And if I was to lend you the money, you might take an airplane ride to Hawaii and spend a few weeks of relapsing on the beach, huh? <laughs> hey, Pasquale, you, you going to do all of this for me? Only if the safe and the party gets on that airplane with you before it goes up. But Pasquale, if that was certain that somebody gets on that airplane, it's not going to be able to get up. <laughs> Look, don't be so ippity puppity, Mr. Smart Alex. So not every day I make you an offer to fly to Hawaii with the Rosa for a bribe. But mm, Pasquale, can we just uh, sit at home with this weekend and... And, uh, and a play cards? Oh, what's the use? I'm talking about a honeymoon, and he's talking about a canazza. <laughs> Luigi, shame on you. You're talking to like a little frightened baby. Marriage ain't so bad. But if it's funny, I'm going to want to hang myself. <laughs> Luigi, don't talk like that. You should see what Rosa looks like now. She's been dieting. Huh? Now she looks like them slim new uh, Henry J. cars. <laughs> Yeah, but Pasquale, to me, she's always going to look like a Mac truck. <laughs> oh, don't talk so foolish, Luigi. Look, I tell you, I'm going to call in a Rosa now. Are you talking nicer to her? And maybe by this time, or next weekend, you're going to have the nice trip. You're going to be in a beautiful Hawaii throwing a Catalina swimsuits at each other. All right, I'm going to call her in, huh? Rosa! 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 Yes, Rosa. How would you like to take a trip to Hawaii this weekend? But, Papa, you know I can't stand long bus rides. <laughs> <laughs> Some sense to you, my Luigi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Luigi, can you imagine what a rose is going to look like in a grass skirt? Yeah. <laughs> Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a great sense of humor, too, huh, Rosa? <laughs> all right, all right, enough. Rosa, go on now. There's a certain arrangements I've got to work out with Luigi. All right, Papa. And I wish you luck. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sally, please, please, there's no use to talk. I'm, I'm, I don't like to fly to the Hawaii. All right, so don't fly. Walk. <laughs> this should take a roast so long. That's all I ask. Yeah, but it's Luigi, funny, but... be fair. I had her for 29 years, and now it's your turn. <laughs> Miss Quelly, no, no. Look, look, Luigi, I tell you what. I promise you something. After you keep her 29 years, i got to take her back again. <laughs> no, Miss maybe you want to keep your promise, and I'm going to be stuck with her. All right, all right, you big green horn boob. Stay in Chicago all summer for all I care. No, please, 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 look at your faces again. And all yeah, and when all of your friends is to keep going away on the weekends and you've got no place to go, nobody to talk to, don't come running to Pasquale because of my door ain't going to be on the speaking terms with your face. Now go, go before I start to lose my temper. All right, all right, Pasquale, I'm going to, and I don't worry, I'm not going to be lunch. Oh, go, go, you, you, you professional bachelor, you... Oh, looks, looks like I'm not going to have no Pasquale this weekend. What am I going to do? Well, I'm, I'm always got to my statues to talk with. Hello, Mr. Washington. How you feeling, huh? How's the mark? That's a good one. And Mr. Jefferson. That's a nice decoration you always wrote to Mr. Jefferson. I think, I think Miss Spalding would give you A in English for that. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm a Mr. Lincoln. Mr. Lincoln, what do you think about inflation? Deflation, taxes, you know, all of this financial business? Huh? Okay. What the, Mr. Lincoln? A little louder. I, I'm not kind of here. I'm not the... Mamma mia, the... Already I'm a start to feel lonesome. Before we return to life with Luigi, here's a suggestion that'll add to your enjoyment of summer activities. Whether you're driving on the highway, enjoying your favorite sport, taking a hike, or having picnics, be sure to have some Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum along. It's swell to chew a stick of Wrigley Spearmint while you're doing other things because the refreshing mint flavor cools your mouth and the chewing itself gives you an extra fun and satisfaction. So this summer, make it a point to always have some delicious Wrigley Spearmint chewing gum with you. You'll enjoy the refreshing flavor. You'll enjoy the good chewing. And now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, it's a nice Saturday morning, and like I'm expected, Chicago is a hot, it's a sticky, and empty. Olsen is out to zoom in on the highway. And uh, what about she uh, with his mother-in-law in the park at us? And the shorts is going down to the beach to drown himself. <laughs> Everybody is uh, having more fun than me. Mamma mia, I'm, I'm going to have one customer today. And Pasquale is going to want to talk to me. And if I'm going to hear somebody's voice soon, I'm, I'm, I'm going to bust it. Um, wait, I'm, I'm just got a big idea. Yeah, sure, I'm, I'm going to have a little talk with a telephone operator. <laughs> sure, I'm, I'm going to ask her for the time, and, and then we're going to have a conversation. Hello, operator. Operator, maybe, maybe you're giving me the time, please. The time is now 9.35 and 20 seconds. Oh, thank you. Uh, operator, my name is Luigi Basco. What's yours? The time is now 9.35 and 30 seconds. That's a funny name. <laughs> hey, look, look, operator. The time is now 9.35 and 50 seconds. Operator, maybe we talk about the weather for a change, huh? No. The time is exactly 10 o'clock. Oh, Mama, that's a summer girl. I'm going to feel like I'm going to talk to my sister watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's look like it's going to be very long summer weekend for me. Good morning, sir. How do you do, sir? Nice to see you, sir. Oh, Mama, man. Oh, it's so nice of you, live a person. Oh, your name all the way to Mr. Vasco. Nice looking store you've got here, but it'll look even nicer once you get yourself one of these shiny new vacuum cleaners. My name is Alan Graham, and I represent the Madison Vacuum Cleaner Company. Oh. And if you'll permit me to demonstrate the little model I have here, I'm sure you will not hesitate to take advantage of the special low-down payment, easy financing terms, which Western has become famous for. Mamma mia. I feel like a radio announcer to fall out of my radio. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Grammer, you, you look a hot. Oh, oh, no, I'm cool as a cucumber, Mr. Vasco. Now, let's have a look at this vacuum cleaner. It's got 39 separate and distinct features. Of course, I won't waste your time by listing all of them. Why not? Why? I said, why not? Don't what you do? want to list all of them? No, I, uh, you want me to tell you all 39 features? Yes, yeah, sure. Sure, what the page are we at? <laughs> About the Madison vacuum cleaner, Mr. Uh, Basco. Yeah, right but, uh, but uh, first, sit down. Sit down. Sit down, and I'm going to give you some lemonade. I need it about now. Lemonade. Yeah, yeah that's a nice, a nice lemonade. The good in the cold, and I'm going to squeeze the oranges of myself. <laughs> that's because I'm going to run out the lemons. Well, that's, that's what I needed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, don't mind if I do sit down, sir. And I can use some of that orange lemonade. I'm really hot. Yeah, you, really well, that's a good. Here, I'm going to pull you a nice a big glass. Oh, thanks. You know, usually a guy who sells door-to-door -door gets thrown out quite a bit. I appreciate this. What, excuse me, is a telephone, huh? Hello? Hello? Is it this at the melon head? Yeah, it's me, Pastor. You feeling good and lonely, Luigi? 
Iya, pas sekali. Oh, what a catastrophe. <laughs> Say this is fine lemonade. Well, I'm a glad you like. Only be careful. Don't think it too fast because you're going to swallow the pits. Oh. All right. So now, now, look, come on. You talk about vacuum cleaner, huh? You really want to hear about it? Sure. And tell me all about different parts, huh? Huh? Start the from part the one and go to part the 39. I'm going to lay down and listen. <laughs> well, you take this switch right here and you... Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm Mrs. Carter and I represent the True Photo Institute of Chicago. We take your portrait right in your own home. You get a choice of six proofs and we give you three by... Uh, eight, eight by ten for only nine dollars. Nine eight by six is ten for three. <laughs> Mamma mia, this lady don't want to talk English. She's talking arithmetic. <laughs> and Mrs. Akata. Mr. Vasco, I think I'd better... No, no, no. Wait till Mr. Graham. Mrs. Akata, meet my son, Mr. Graham. He's a cell of vacuum cleaners. Maybe you're going to buy one. Well, how much would a good cleaner cost me, Mr. Graham? Well, I've got some literature here, Mrs. Carter. Why don't we sit down and talk this over? I'm sure I can work out a nice deal for sure, you. Sure, sure. Go on and go ahead, Mr. Carter. My store is nice and empty. It's too hot outside to work. So you sit down, and I'm I'm going to go in the back and squeeze some more oranges for the lemonade. Oh, please don't bother. I'm nobody. You two very nice people. I'm glad to have you, even for the whole weekend. Oh, and, and here's a picture uh, of my youngest child, Mr. Uh, Graham. <laughs> he is a beautiful child, Mrs. Carter. Nothing. Say, I wonder what's keeping Mr. Vasco so long back there. Oh, he's probably just... Excuse me, folks. My name is Harold Strauss. I'm working my way through college selling magazines, and I thought you might be interested in a subscription. Well, you see, Mrs. Carter... You two I... probably I... have I... kids of your own. Hey, that's a pretty child picture, madam. Spit an image of your husband here. Oh, this man is not my husband. Oh. Well, here's someone. Come on, let me drink. Everybody, it's oh. took me a little longer because I'm a medicine of sandwiches. Oh, hello, mister. I'm a don't recognize you. When are you as a come in? Oh, Mr. Vasco, this is Mr. Harold uh, Strauss. He's selling magazines to work his way through college. Oh, that's nice. What the college you going to? A college of hard knocks. <laughs> hard knocks of college? I might never heard of this. Well, you should read more magazines. Now, you take a three-year subscription to the American... No, please, please, there's no hurry. We all are going to sit down. It's, it's a nice little cooler here. Then we eat, drink, and talk, and spend a little nice time, huh? Here, Mr. Carter, try this sandwich. Oh, thank you. Mr. Graham? Thank you. Mrs. Strauss? Oh, thanks. Say, what's the occasion? Somebody's birthday or something? Ah, uh, no, no. Is it just that that the we four people all are working on a weekend? So we get together and make a big and nice little party. That's right. Well, <laughs> that's the refreshment. This is the first time anything like this has happened to me, and I've been working my way through college for 12 years. <laughs> Mr. Vasco, the spaghetti and meatballs are excellent. I'm a sugar lady like it, but I'm going to think the best part of the meal was the cake you baked for. Oh, really? You like it? Good cake. I'd say I haven't had anything. Gangway! Oh, isn't that a nice... That's Mr. Graham. He's cleaning up in my store with a vacuum cleaner. Oh, it's a wonderful day. Oh, what's the telephone again? Hello? Hello. A rabbit is live here? That's a me, Pasquale. Well, are you dying of loneliness yet? No, no, Pasquale. I'm having the most wonderful time of my life. And it's the time I'm hanging up on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, friends. What are we doing? Anybody who want to sing a song, tell a joke? Huh? I got a I joke about a child. Come on, it's tell us, please. Come on. Come on. Remind me. Come on. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Did I have a nickel for a cup of coffee? <laughs> Come on in, a friend. We got a, we got a more than a coffee here. We got a friendship and a food and a fun. What the more you could ask for? Fun? A nickel for a cup of coffee. <laughs> That's the poor fella. He's a looker so hot and hungry. Yes, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, a friend. This is a Mrs. Akata. She's a seller of pictures. Mr. Graham, he's a seller of vacuum cleaners. And Mr. Strauss, he's a seller of magazines. All I want is a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, but please, I'm, 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 I'm a no got a no coffee. Maybe you take some lemonade? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, wait. About the lemonade, I'm, I'm a run out of oranges. 
So you mind if uh, I make the lemonade with a grape of fruit? <laughs> All I want is a cup of coffee. <laughs> excuse me, friends. Excuse me a minute. I'm going to see somebody who's a picking in my bar. Oh, hello, Pasquale. Huh? <laughs> hello, Luigi. Um, Pasquale, I'm, I'm sorry if my friends was made it too much noise. Oh, that's all right. I, I never knew you had so many friends. Where did they all come from suddenly? Oh, they, they, they just come, Pasquale. I don't know how you do it. You know, I've been a terrible lonesome today. Roses go to a friends, and nobody's coming to my restaurant. Just a bunch of salesmen. I spent all the day chasing them away. Yeah, but Pasquale, salesmen, they people are too like everybody else. Come on, come on, join a party, huh? Thanks, Luigi. Hey, hey that fella, he's looking like somebody. I... And that lady. Yeah, sure, Pasquale. That's the people you threw out there. But I'm, I had a wonderful time with him. Come on, Pasquale, you have a fun too, huh? Hey, hey, everybody, this is my friend, Pasquale. Oh, oh, no, wait, 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 please, please, please. Uh, look, I, I know, I know, I was wrong. I tell you what we're going to do. We all go to my restaurant. I give you pizza, lasagna, chicken, cacciatore, soup, and pasta, anything you want. Huh? What do you say? Where's my cup of coffee? <laughs> I'm, I had a fine time with all of my salesmen and friends. And Pasquale, he's enjoying himself too. Before Pasquale was in my store half hour, he's bought himself a vacuum cleaner magazine subscription. And he's ordered half a dozen pictures of a Russia. <laughs> yeah, 11 by 14. <laughs> I'm a think of roses that take a size of 60 by accident after my business. And the only thing that was my business is how I must spend the weekend with my friends. And Mamma Mia, with a friends, hats to make a business very good. And I'm a hope for the same for you. Good night, Mamma Mia. I'm a love you. You're loving a son, Luigi Basco, Lily Magrant. Friends, the makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi, and they want to remind you that Wrigley Spearmint Gum is a refreshing, delicious taste treat that you can enjoy almost any time and anywhere. Just keep a package handy in your purse or pocket. Then, whether you're working or having fun outdoors, you've always got refreshment right at your fingertips. Just take out a stick of Wrigley Spearmint Gum and chew it. It cools your mouth, freshens your taste, and you get a lot of enjoyment out of the smooth, pleasant chewing. So when you go to the store, remember to get some Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. It costs so little, and it tastes so good. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at the same time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conley as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Schiff as Miss Folding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Grossman. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.